I'm just gonna finally shoot this video because it's been long awaited, long one month video of me buying figure watts. Wait till you see how many I bought. Buying them by the days. It was crazy. I think that's it. Yeah, I bought a lot this month. I get into collecting things and I make mistakes. Not really though, because these things are flocking amazing. Let me take these off the table, I guess, and talk about them. <laughs> cause I really want to unbox them cause they are flocking amazing. Um, uh, I don't even know. I'm just gonna put stuff to the side. Hold on. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Life of Cletus. In today's video, I am going to show you my one month haul of SH Figure Arts, my addiction, why I picked them up, and all about the company and why I actually like them and I support them. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cletus Selden. I am a world ranked professional boxer. For the few of you guys who do not know that, and I just fought on ESPN just a month ago, knocked the guy out in 26 seconds, and I have my next professional boxing match at the Mohegan Sun as the main event, January 26th. I have a professional record of 22 and one, and I have 18 knockouts, and they call me the Hebrew Hammer. And I have one of the largest Funko Pop collections in the entire world for you new people who are just showing up here. With that, in just a one month span, I had a full blown addiction to a new toy, a new collectible. I've been collecting Funko Pops for two and a half years. Every single day, I own over 2,500 of them. Well, I recently found out about Hot Toys and I bought 23 in one month, which then led me into, in the same month, SH Figure Arts and how flocking amazing they are. Yeah. Now, let's get into this video now. I started collecting these bad boys after seeing a YouTube video and I said, I gotta have one of these. Once I bought one, this one right here, Son Goku, or they call it Go uh, Kid Goku, which really is preteen Goku, Kid Goku, because honestly, he had blue in Dragon Ball. And not until he started fighting then in the tournament and stuff like that, then he got this color here. I wish to make a blue one. I know they're gonna do it in the future because toy companies love using that scope, baby. Now, this one here, I seen online. I seen so many reviews. I was late to the party. I had to pick it up, pay about 60 bucks for it, 65 bucks for it. Got completely wrecked in the mail. Uh, and I mean lost in the mail. And then finally came in and I was able to uh, look at it. And I thought it was amazing. I then picked up a Shenron and a Majin Buu, which I'll show you in a little bit. But because of this item here, these collectibles here, it actually showed me that there are better things out there from when me collecting Funko Pops. Funko Pops are simple, just desk candy that you put on your desk to show you people at work what you have. Uh, it just happens to be that they are pretty valuable and they go up in, in price. Now these, I wouldn't even leave them on that desk because somebody will steal these mother flockers. They come with a bunch of different face sculpts, different ways to articulate them. By, uh, by far the best company that actually makes articulating uh, toys. This figure arts company, Bandai, makes the best articulating toys in the entire world. These go for about 60 bucks, $65. Uh, can go all the way up to $89 and as low as $35. So it really depends on the actual um, item itself and what comes inside. This for $60, uh, $60, $65 item, you get so much stuff with him on a flying Nimbus, 
different, uh, I think, three face sculpts. You get the power pole. You get like a semi power pole that he has. Uh, comes with a stand, comes with everything you want, so I can see where they come with that $65 price. These things are amazing. Um, I will add now before later, if if this company can get these prices down, uh, like to around the $30 range, they're gonna kill the collectible market. They don't just make Dragon Ball Z stuff, they make some um, Star Wars and Marvel as well. So let me get into my one month haul for you and uh, show you guys what I got and what I like them um, after I talk about these model kits. Now this company here makes model kits of figures that are extremely hard to get and very rare. I think this is the best way that any company can actually go about for individuals who want to complete their set and feel that they're not left out because they can't afford the actual items. The actual Krillin SH figure watch itself goes from $150 to $175 if you can find it. I was in search of it for quite a while, and then I said, you know what? I'm sick of messaging people that say they already sold it after they listed it. Then I started picking these things up. They go for $30, $30. Barnes & Noble's GameStop, you can see them around. And they don't look too hard to uh, put together, so I'm gonna do those in a live stream. And I got the Android 18 as well. Um, these items, again, they go for 170 bucks. The actual figure was themselves because they were released back then and it is no more really around. And this is a, the greatest way for a company to do something like this. It's so smart. I, I wish other companies can follow this way or, or come up with a, a solution so that they don't have to make the other items over and over again. They can do stuff like this, which is freaking amazing. Now, I also picked up this model kit too, which came for Christmas, and it's actually the Saiyan pod um, from Bandai that actually uh, is a model kit as well. Uh, it comes with the actual model inside. I got this because it's actually a little bit bigger than the other one that I have here, which is the space pod that's 1 12th scale that is from, I don't know what company, but this one here holds uh, like a regular size figure watch, no problem. This one actually can hold Nappa. Um, I have another one that has baby Goku in it. I know I have an addiction, I 100% support it, and this is why we're here. Um, they also, <laughs> this company also comes up with other things like effects. So when the characters go Super Saiyan or if they have some kind of blast or something like that, they sell these little blast effects. This is kind of cheesy so far, but this is better made out of much better quality, which I totally enjoy. And I also picked up these uh, staging poles basically and you're able to actually pose your figure if it's levitating or if they're fighting in a certain way and they're off balance these things are awesome this one's a necker one that i got from target for 10 bucks i love it because it comes with a suction cup so my goal here is because the actual model kits are just a scale off that if you can levitate your actual krillin with his disc in his hand you wouldn't even know the difference because he's levitating in the air now let's get to the uh actual figure arts. Oh wait, I got one other thing I want to show you. I picked up this diorama of Etsy. It's the Tournament of Champion diorama for 112 scale figures. Um, I do not have the link of it. I did buy it on Etsy. It was like 27 bucks. Came really quick. I'm pretty pumped to actually unbox this and open it. Hopefully it fits in the detail shelf. Not we have to shove it around. Yeah. Like I mentioned before, we got the same pod. This thing's pretty dope. You don't have to build it though. It's all together. I got both of these off of uh, Toy Dojo. Toy Dojo is a great site to actually purchase them. This one again, you don't have to purchase. Uh, you don't have to build, but it comes, um, it's about 15 to 10 dollars more. So that's up to you on that one. All right, that's enough of that. Figure watch time. Yeah. As I mentioned, I picked up the Kid Goku, so um, uh, pre-teen Goku, so he was the first one. When I bought this, they did not re-release it yet, and then when they re-released it, it was on Black Friday kind of thing, actually close to weekend, with the, all these 25% off codes and 20% off of free shipping. So I went out there and bought um, another one. I took one out of the box, and I bought another one. So I had four of them. I don't know why. I'll probably return this one. 
keep the three because they have three different face sculpts. And these things are so sick that you kind of need one for each face sculpt. And I'm telling you now, I did that so far, and I'm probably going to keep that kind of pace up. I also picked this off of uh, Barnes & Noble's. This was a Mario. It was 20% off, free shipping, 30 bucks uh, is the retail for it. And it was a figure watch. I said, all right, whatever, I'll get it. Uh, right now, the best place for me to buy these are actually at Barnes & Noble's, and I hope you guys will buy them too because they have the free shipping, and they also include coupons all the time with the membership fee. Awesome. When I ordered them from Big Bad Toy Store, Toy Dojo, and these other places, they wanted to charge me for shipping. I paid $22 for that shipping because my order wasn't at $150 bucks yet. Yeah, for those two same pods from, uh, from there. And because of that, I actually canceled all my other orders for them for my pre-orders because I'm not kind of playing that game. I like getting stuff for discount deals. And even the fact that they were great uh, shipping and getting products to me, I kind of I can bite the bullet on that. Um, I picked this up from Chrono Toys. This is Beerus. Uh, this is the 2.0 Vegeta. Got that from Barnes & Nobles. This is the Sun Goku. This is a must-have for you guys. If I had to say two, uh, two of them to pick up right now, it's definitely this one and this one. It's only like 35 bucks. Definitely want to go after that one. The next one I picked up was the Bulma. I bought one originally, and then I seen a sale on Barnes & Noble during the holidays, so I picked up another one, which is pretty cool, and I'll show you why. When I bought it, I saw that another YouTube channel had this thing. It had the little mobile, a transformer mobile that I've added to this thing. Looks pretty sick. Uh, she did fall over, but that is that. I definitely, uh, I had to get it. I had to get that. There's no choice. Once you first start getting into collecting, you start realizing, hey, let me get all the stuff that's on the market real quick, get them up, and that was basically what's happening here. Uh, the Vegeta kept coming in and out on Barnes & Nobles. Um, I found the Majin Buu, which took me a few times to actually get because the box damage kept coming in and out, and being a box collector forever, I want to make sure I get that. I got the Shenron as well. He was another one you had to order a few times to get a good box. Uh, uh, hopefully one day uh, Barnes & Noble fix that. Uh, this is another Vegeta that I was able to pick up that was a 2.0. Got this from Chrono Toys and this was the Wiss uh, SH Figuarts obviously. Next up we have Piccolo and Gohan, Son Gohan, Super Saiyan Go uh, Gohan and the Piccolo character. I do want to get the San Diego Comic Con ones um, down the line. Um, I got this Son Goku, uh, Gohan because uh, after seeing so many reviews and going through everybody's channel who posts SH Figure Watch consistently, they um, recommended so many different ones to get that I, that's why I picked up majority of these without seeing this complete show yet. So, uh, and, and I know how I am. I'm going to watch the show and I'm going to want it then and I don't want to miss out for it. Um, we got Tian and we got the Super Satan Trunks. Um, uh, this is not the premium one. This is not the premium one. But this one's a cheap one too. It's like 30, 35 bucks. We have the 2.0 Frieza. Um, basically, he's a resurrection. So when he dies, they bring him back to life kind of thing. I haven't got that far in the actual show with Frieza, but I know they did that with Goku. Two other ones we were able to get was the Nappa figure. These things are perfect to scale. Uh, the size for them are amazing. And I was able to get two of them. You kind of need two of them. Like you got Nappa and Vegeta just chilling. You can cross their arms in the background on one pose. Then you got them fighting another one. You can't go wrong with it. Come on, guys. You need two of them, right? I did get the, I think it was New York Comic Con or San Diego Comic Con exclusive power pole, which was whatever, man. You got Majin Vegeta in here now as well, which is pretty cool. I do like it. Uh, I don't know too much of it yet, but I do know about this one. Master Roshi. Master Roshi, I think I want to get another one of him. He's only the one that I really want left as a double because I need to pose him. And I hope they make one of them jacked up. Ready to do shit, isn't it? With that being said, we added Yamcha. I have another Son Goku, the uh, $35 one. And then I got the Super Saiyan Trunks, a second one of these. Or third one of these. I think it's the second one of these. Hope it's the second one of these. Because he has his Super Saiyan hair. You gotta have him with both hair. Christ sakes. I know what you guys are thinking. These things are awesome. And I'm glad you bought them. Thank you. A must have. Got this from Big Bad Toy Store. 
Android 16 with Golden Frieza, where I got from actually Chrono Flocking Toys. Another Barnes & Noble one that you could probably still get in store. Uh, Son Goku, when he's Super Saiyan, like, his, his outfit's all beat up now. He's a warrior. Uh, this was a must-have, I was told, to get because this is like an iconic experience in our lives in the uh, Dragon Ball Z universe, so I got that. Next up, I had to get two of these Go Tents. I'm kind of upset that I bought them off of Big Bad Toy Store or any other website besides Barnes & Noble's because of the pricing on Barnes & Noble's free shipping, $65, with the holiday coupons. I'm telling you guys, again, if you uh, take them out of the box, you can repackage them, you can basically always sell them at retail price. The most you'll ever lose on these right now is shipping. If you have to pay for shipping, okay, whatever. I got the um, SSS3. Goku, I uh, got this from Chrono Toys. It had a little box damage. Um, I'll keep it honest with you. I might just order one from Amazon and then just put that in the box and return it and say game damage. Yeah, I'm a street kid and I collect. So this one was cool. Uh, it's the only premium collection one that I actually picked up and this is the uh, perfect sell one. I really like the green on it, which really stood out and looked popping for me, but I wouldn't want to do that for like the trunks or in the future because they're the trunks version or the um, the other premium collector trunks. Uh, don't buy those. Stay away. Stay, stay away. I then got into collecting with these two guys here. Got these for 200 bucks. I got Broly from New York Comic Con slash San Diego Comic Con event exclusive with Vegeta. With Vegito. I think these guys look sick. I can't wait to figure out what the hell Broly is and how legendary and super Satan he really can do stuff like that. Definitely uh, excited to unbox them and put them together. Uh, I also think I might have, I'm kind of back and forth. I want to unbox them all together, but I kind of only want to unbox them when I get to see them in the damn film. And because of that happening in my life, I had to pick this up because I saw him for two seconds. Austin Vegeta, P.A. Vegeta in this motherfucker. I saw him for two seconds and said, I gotta get him. I bought him right before I was about to weigh in. Yeah, funny story. Or sign for my check, something like that. The perfect sell that's finished off the New York Comic Con slash event exclusive. This keeps popping up on Big Bad Toy Store as a pre order. Uh, so that kind of is what it is, but 89 bucks. If you get it for 100 bucks, you kind of won. I got that from eBay sales. Uh, they had an extra, what was it? Um, uh, 20 or 15 percent off. I'm like, okay, I got it for like, like 80 some bucks. And then this one, Kakaron, Son Goku, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I needed this. I seen it recently in the show. I said, whoa, they make that? I need that mother flocker, which is kind of sad because I don't know what the hell I'm thinking when I'm doing these things. That is my SH Figure Arts haul. I did purchase all of these in a one month span. I know I'm a professional boxing and you got money, you can do stuff like that. No, I only fought one day this year and I didn't even make that much money. But because I was smart enough to uh, look at my collection, see what's not wanted in my collection and I can downgrade it and then upgrade it with these has been a huge benefit to me and put a big smile on my face. I had Pokemon cards in my collection sealed for the past two and a half, three years. And I've seen the ones that I really have been just taking up space. They haven't been bringing any value. I wasn't going to open them. So I posted them up on eBay and I sold between three to four to five thousand dollars in Pokemon stuff, which helped pay for my hot toys and these SH figure arts. Just a little upgrade for myself. I enjoy it. Hope you guys can learn and do it, to you, do it for yourselves as well. I highly recommend if you guys own just a few Dragon Ball Z Gokus, sell them. Pick up an SH figure art. Definitely gonna be worth it. And if you own all of the Deadpool Funko Pops, commons exclusives, sell them. Sell the ones that are just sitting in the back there. There's probably 12 or 13 of them. Even maybe more if you have both waves. Those right there can buy you one hot toy. Simple fact is that, just do it. You have one amazing item that is, is there for you and Oh my god, it's the best one. I have a video for that if you guys didn't see it or if I didn't post it yet. Or if I did post it yet. I don't know. Alright, this is it. Let me finish this up right here. Finish up a few sentences. I do want to pick up 
more uh, the less rare items like maybe the Broly, the Piccolo. I want to get two Goku Blacks because I've kind of been slowing down because I got everything. Same with the Hot Toys. Once you get everything, you start slowing down. It's okay now. I feel comfortable where I'm sitting. This is what it's about. It's about being a collector. Now, the one of the most beneficial things of these for the upkeep purposes, and I wish, I please wish, other companies like Funko can do. This company releases, as of right now, one item per month. One item per month. Yeah. Like one month, they got two coming out. Oh my God. But right now, they have one per month. They put pre-orders on them in months in advance, which is great. So if you don't have that kind of money uh, to buy all of them, you can just start right now. Get caught up a little bit, and then you just got to keep an upkeep for one figure a month. Instead of getting dropped on a whole wave like Funko or Hot Toys does, uh, which is insane. Even this company, usually when Christmas time comes, the companies just want to smash you with everything. Nah, they kept it cool. One item there, while Hot Toys was releasing something every week, which was crushing my freaking life. <sighs> Hope I can uh, convince you on to maybe looking at these, picking them up in the future. And uh, this is my new uh, addiction. Ham out. Boo! Oh, let me know if you guys want to see one huge, massive unboxing of these, or you just want me to slowly unbox them as I go on live streams or something.